Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Homicide Webisodes. I'm Investigator Dave Stevenson, where each month we'll be featuring one of over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the viewer, to help us catch a killer. In the late 70s and early 80s, an unprecedented amount of young female victims were found murdered in the South Lake Tahoe Basin. Carol Anderson was one of those victims. On July 1st, 1979, at 2.45 a.m., Carol Anderson's assaulted, bruised, and lifeless body was found right here, laid alongside the road, with no attempt to conceal her murder. Carol Anderson's story starts here where she lived on Cottonwood Street in State Line, Nevada. She attended George Whittle High School and was getting ready to start her junior year. Like teenagers from a small town, everyone knew Carol and Carol knew everyone. She frequented a local hangout right here at Reagan Beach. June 30th, 1979 was no different. Carol had been seen hanging out at the beach and then later got a ride with some friends to a party on Regina Way in South Lake Tahoe. Throughout the night of the party, Carol had been offered rides home as friends would leave but witness accounts said she stayed behind. And at around 11.30 p.m., it was believed Carol had left the party, possibly on foot, or may have been given a ride by her killer or killers, right here past Heavenly Ski Resort. Was she the victim of a sexual assault, a kidnapping? Did she know her killer or killers? Did she go with them or was she forced? One thing is for sure, on July 1st, 1979, Carol Anderson's young life was taken and her friends and family would never be the same. Like in any senseless murder, the friends and family are affected forever, and Carol's murder was no different. Her mother, Dolores Anderson, passed away almost a year later, some say due to a broken heart. And at Dolores' request, she was buried right here, alongside her daughter, where she would be with her forever. Anyone who recalls Carol the night of her murder and or hung out at Reagan's Beach in the late 70s, please contact us.